Mark, still one match to go here in the WSC Pro Series, but you've won your first six matches of the day to secure the title. A fantastic performance. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels unbelievable, really. Uh, I suppose it's a nice birthday present for me, but, uh, you know, just the names in the group, you know, I thought it was going to go right down to the last frame and it's going to be, you know, four or five in, in, in the mix, but I managed to win uh, all my games and, and obviously Carter just beat Craigie there, so I'm through now with one match to go, so I can... I can't go out to play any quicker than I have been. I'm just going to go out and enjoy it and you know, enjoy the win. You started off the day with a 2-0 win over Judd Trump, who probably would have been the favourite going into the last day. Did that kind of give you the give the impetus and the momentum to go on for that? Um, well, I'm glad I had him first, to be honest, because you know you don't want Judd Trump at the end when, when you're trying to, uh, to win something or get in the top two or whatever it is. So you know, I had him first, which I thought was better, because even if, if he beats you, um, you know, you're still not out of the tournament, uh, and then everyone else has got to play him. But, you know, I got off to a good run, made some good breaks, uh, some good clearances, and like I said, over the moon to get through without losing a game so far. And you mentioned just there how fast you've been playing. Are you, are you kind of going out there and just thinking, I'm just going to enjoy it, just trying to play it quickly and then rely on your natural game as much as you can? Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I've been saying it for months now. I'm just going out there and playing. Um, pretty much as fast as I can. I'm not thinking about it. If there's a shot in, going for it. If it goes in, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. Uh, but I'm still going for them. Uh, you know, I'm making some good breaks and playing some good stuff. I've been for a few months now. Uh, I still have two or three frames on the trot where I can't park a ball for half an hour, but that's just the way it is. And I think I can do it by that. I just got to accept it. But overall, I've been playing well for, you know, quite a while now and I'm just getting on with it. And, you know, I think, my average frame time can be much more than 10 to 12 minutes, I think, of every frame I played in the last six months. Looking back to 2018, when you won the World you won the world Open as well, you were right at the top of the game then. You, you then maybe had a little bit of a lull where, is it fair to say you maybe lost a bit of the hunger and the desire, but, but that's come back again? Um, possibly. I mean, to, to do what I'd done in, in 2018, the, the work you know, I put in, um, the practice I put in, and, and, and the practice I knew I had to put in, um, I, I'm just not prepared to do that anymore. I'm not prepared to practice six, seven hours a day, even though it's a world title, possibly at the end of it. I'm just not prepared to you know, sacrifice the time you need to put enough hours in you know, to win tournaments. Uh, but I'm okay with that. I've, I've accepted that. I'm, you know, I'm going to practice as much as I can, two, two to three hours every day on most days. Uh, play as much golf as I can. I won't play any stuff on the weekends. Uh, just keep taking over and just enjoy it. I mean, I got noth nothing to prove to anyone anymore. Uh, I think 2018 must have proved all the doubt was wrong. So I'm just playing for enjoyment. Obviously, try and win as much money as I can. If a tournament comes along as well, fantastic. But it's just all about enjoying it for me now and, and seeing how long I can stay on the tour for and see how long I can stay in the top 16. And then when I drop out of that, see how long I can stay on the tour for. It must be a, a great place to be because you look at some of the younger guys, even someone like Trump, he, he perhaps has still got to prove himself as one of the all-time greats, whereas you've done all that. And a bit like Ronnie as well, you, you're in a position where you can just go to tournaments, not worry too much about winning or losing and just enjoy yourself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, look, there's no one that tries any harder in any competition than me. I'll be out there, I'll try my, my guts off. Um, but if I lose it, I've got no problem, you know. Uh, I just go home and just turn up to the next one. But, uh, you know, I, even if, I mean, look what Judd's doing. He's playing some of the best snooker I've ever seen. You know, he, he, it's including Higgins and O'Sullivan. He's not playing better than him or stuff like that. But he's playing as good as I've seen any of them play, play at the minute. Um, you know, he can win the UK Championships next year and the World Championships. There's always going to be people saying he's got, got to win more tournaments to be called one of the greats you know it's just that's just the way it is people for me he's already one of the greats you know um, and, and he's only 30 31 if he keeps going like that god knows how many tournaments he could end up with and playing like you are now okay this is only a, a short format event obviously the world championships are different different cat of fish but playing as you are now and the way you're feeling do you feel you could be a real realistic contender at crystal um if, if you want the honest opinion, no, I don't think so. Um, can I give people a game up there and beat them? Absolutely. Uh, whether or not I can carry the form 
for nearly three weeks. I don't know, but anything I can guarantee is I'll be trying hundred percent in every game, and you know, I, I'm dangerous. And as you mentioned, yeah, birthday today, happy birthday, great way to celebrate. And you've become the oldest winner of a ranking event since Doug Mountjoy back in 1989. So <laughs> Poor old Doug. You. Should dedicate this up to Doug, really, because uh, I also went to his funeral last week. You know, it'd been lovely if he was alive to see it, but you know, what can I say? I'm well, sure. You know, I'm not going to get carried away. I know you lot call it a ranking tournament, but you know, I don't class this as a ranking tournament. It's best of threes, same as a shootout. Brilliant to win. You know, champion of champions, you get in on the back of it. I think you do for this one. But, you know, as a proper ranking tournament, no, not for me. I don't count that really. Well, it is a ranking tournament. <laughs> You've won it. For man. you, not for me. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. Go out and enjoy your last match. And we'll see you at the, at the World Championship. Thank you. He's going to say the tour championship, haven't he? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.